Good evening, everybody. Superjacks01 here, and uh, I can tell you, I just got back home from work. Anyway, I'm finally back now. Welcome to my very first video of 2023. I want to thank you all for all the views that Max Revenge has gotten. I know um, after this video, we're going to be doing some more Max Revenge related videos because on January 3rd, me, Savion Source, our director, and Shelby Cray, who played Lola, recorded a commentary track, so that'll be coming out within the next few days. And I'm actually filming on uh, my Canon camera right now instead of my iPhone because my iPhone ran out of storage so I couldn't film this. So please bear with me with the camera movements. All right. As you can see, yep. It's time for a Blu-ray update for today, tonight, January 18th, 2023. My very first video of 2023. All right, here we go. Sorry about that. Anyway, I got a total of 10 Blu-rays. Three of them I got for Christmas. The others I got after Christmas over the course of the end of December and beginning of January. So we'll do the stuff I got for Christmas first. Earths. These, they're all 4K ones. These first two, they're uh, films from uh, Leica. First up, we got the 4 4K Blu-ray of Coraline. Oh, yeah. Now, this is a great animated classic from 2009. Anyways... You can see we got the spine and the back. A remarkable feat of the imagination stayed by Kenneth Turnin of the Los Angeles Times. Rosier's got discovering the characters of Coraline featuring rare test footage. Inside Leica revisiting the puppets with Leica's animation team. Character concept art and behind the scenes photo galleries. Audio commentary with director Henry Selk and composer Bruno Kles. The making of Coraline. Uh, original featurettes, delete scenes, feature length storyboards. Yep. I'm going to open this up. Here we got this thing. Here's the 4K Blu-ray. And then this is the regular Blu-ray. But yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Coraline, great animated classic. Alright, the other one I got for Christmas is... Yep, Paranorman. Oh yeah, now this is another great animated Leica film, and I'm almost, I've am almost i almost completed my unintentional Leica Blu-ray collection, because I do have Kubo and the True Strings and Missing Link on Blu-ray. The only one I just need to get on Blu-ray is The Box Trolls, which I know I heard a new 4K version of that is coming out next month, so I'll pick that up. Yeah, this is another great animated film. Here we got the spine. Back. A small miracle in stop motion from The Wizards at Leica, Steve by Peter Travers of Rolling Stone. Once you've got Inside Leica... Uh, discovering the characters and effects of Paranorman featuring rare test footage inside Leica, revisiting the puppets with Leica's animation team, feature length storyboards, character concept art behind the scenes photo galleries, audio commentary with writer and director Chris Butler and co-director Sam Felt, peering through the veil and original featurettes. Here we got this thing. Here's the 4K Blu-ray, and then this is the regular Blu-ray. Oh yeah, Paranorman, definitely recommend it. Alright, now the last one I got for Christmas is, um, this is a recent film from 2022, that's the 4K Blu-ray of Smile. Yeah, now, once you see it, it's too late, yeah. Now this was a, a surprisingly good film. Uh, I saw this in theaters on opening night uh, back on uh, September 30th, 2022, and I really enjoyed this film. This is the feature uh, length um, directorial debut and uh, rain debut of Parker Finn. This is based on a short film he did called Laura Hasn't Slept, which premiered at a film festival in early 2020. And that was the inspiration for this film. Or that was like a, like a, it's apparently like a prequel to this show. I haven't watched the show yet, but it's actually as included right here. It's actually included as a bonus. Oh, sorry. It's actually included as a bonus feature on here. Yeah. Yeah. And um, this was actually almost a streamer because this was actually almost a streaming exclusive because this movie was originally supposed to be released on Paramount Plus as a Paramount Plus exclusive but apparently when they had test screenings for the film the audience feedback from those test screenings were so positive that they they decided to instead give the film a theatrical release which actually allowed me to be able to see it because I actually believe it or not I actually don't have Paramount Plus yet I'm I've been debating about whether or not I'm gonna I should get that or not if any of you guys have my opinion of whether or not I should get it let me know in the comment center yeah but yeah I really enjoyed Smile very 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 freaky film and 
it's a great performance by Kevin Bacon's daughter, Sosie Bacon, playing the lead role of Rose. And for many casual audiences, this was their introduction to Sosie Bacon. But I've actually, I've actually known about her for like six years because I know she played Sky on the first two seasons of 13 Reasons Why. So I remember her acting there. But anyway, here we got the spine, the back. Haunting, a stay by Eric Davis of Fandago, and Unnerving, Scary Cell, stay by Alix Wax, Alyssa Wax of Collider. Well, you just got Laura, the, the original Laura Hasn't Slept short film. Commentary by writer and director Parker Finn, Something's Wrong with Rose, Making Smile. Fly, uh, flies on the Wall, Inside the Score, Delete Scenes with optional, co optional Commentary by writer and director Parker Finn. Oh yeah. Yeah, this, this is a very, very disturbing film, but still enjoyable, like I said. And here's the digital copy code. I already entered in all these digital copy codes. Here's the 4K Blu-ray, which is just a standard black disc. And since this is a Paramount Blu-ray, there's no regular Blu-ray disc. But yeah, I definitely recommend checking out Smile. It is a disturbing film, but it's... Okay, I'm probably oversaying it. Like, it's disturbing. Like, it's like it's very... It's a very dark and scary movie. But it's still enjoyable nonetheless. All right, now... Now we're going to do the stuff I got throughout the course of the end of December, after Christmas, and January up until this date. So, yeah. Uh, this first Blu-ray, this came out last Tuesday, and I got this at the Best Buy store in Seekonk, Massachusetts this past Friday. Yep, this is the 4K Blu-ray of Groundhog Day. Oh, yeah, and this is the 30th anniversary, because, you know, the film itself came, came out in 1993. And, yeah, this is a great classic. This reunited Bill Murray and the late Harold Ramis because they both worked together on the original two Ghostbuster films. They acted in that film. For this movie, Harold, uh, Bill Murray played the lead role of Phil and then uh, um, Harold Ramis was the director. But apparently this caused a bit of a you know ruffle in their friendship and they didn't speak to each other after a while for many, many years. Apparently, though, they reconciled some just a few months before Harold Ramis had died back in 2014. Yeah. But yeah, this is a gr this is a great film and... It also features a very young Andy McDowell in it. And also, Chris Elliott is actually in this film playing Larry, the cameraman. And most casual people know that this was 22 years before he did Schitt's Creek, because we all know Chris Elliott, he played Roland on Schitt's Creek. Yeah. But anyway, here we got the spine. This is the exclusive 30th anniversary of Steelbook. Back, a comic time warp anyone should be happy to get stuck in a by Richard Corals of Time. Rosie just got deleted scenes, audio commentary with director Harold Ramis, Needle Nose, Nids, Picture and Picture Track, The Study of Groundhogs, A Real Life Look at Merits, A Different Day, An Interview with Harold Ramis, and The Weight of Time documentary. Yeah. And this movie started a trend. Now, when this movie came out, the whole like idea or concept of um, uh, a person being stuck in the same day over and over and over again had been done m many times before, but this movie really skyrocketed that whole trope or trend and i'm sure at least one of your favorite tv shows has had has had an episode where that storyline happened that, or that idea kind of happened but anyway here we got the digital copy code here's the 4k blurry which you can see um phil and rita and here's the regular blu-ray which has phil and there's some artwork Oh, yeah. But, yeah, Groundhog Day, great classic. Now, okay. Hey, now, this next one. This I got at uh, Target the uh, Target in Warwick, Rhode Island, back on December 26th, uh, the day after Christmas, Boxing Day. This is the 4K Blu-ray of Puss in Boots. Oh, yeah. This is the prequel film. I, um, believe it or not, I actually had not seen this film until uh, I bought this Blu-ray. Can you believe that? Yeah, this film had been out for over 11 years, and I had not seen it until last month. I, do I don't know why. Because I'm a big fan of the Shrek film, so I I, I can't believe I, I had never seen this film. But I saw see an honor because uh, Puss in, the sequel, the Puss in Boots, the Last Wish, uh, came out in theaters back uh, a couple days before Christmas. Which I did see this that film in theaters a day later on December 27th, and I really enjoyed Puss in Boots, the Last Wish. Actually, actually enjoyed it more than this film. I'll give my thoughts on that film when uh, uh, whenever the Blu-ray update, including it, happens. But yeah, but yeah, this is still a good film. Here we got the spine back. Best day made film of the year, stayed by Orlando Centine. Most of you got deleted scenes, Puss and Boots, The Three Diablos, Pure Effect Pairing, The Voices Behind the Legend, In Kitten to Cat, Glitter Box Dance Off, and Klepto Kitty. Yep. Here we got the digital copy code. 
Here's the 4K Blu-ray, which you can see Puss in Boots and uh, Kitty Soft Paws. And then here's the rear Blu-ray, which is a greenish disc. But yeah, Puss in Boots, really good film. All right, now, these last um, five items were items I all got at Best Buy. I've been having to buy, buy these movies at Best Buy lately because... Whenever, whenever I go to Walmart or Target, the day like you know a movie comes out on Blu-ray, I always like to get. Whenever a film comes out on Blu-ray, I usually like to get it the day it came out, the day it comes out, or the day after it comes out. And uh, whenever I went to Walmart or Target to do this, like you know, for some reason the items would not be put on the shelves until like a couple days later, or maybe even later in the evening. I don't know why the this crew has just gotten lazy or something, or maybe they're low on staff and they can't do this. I don't know. But Best Buy is the only one where they're like on the shelves like first thing in the morning, so that's why I've been going there. This first one, this I got last Wednesday uh, at Best Buy. This is the Blu-ray of the Banshees of Era Sharon. Oh yeah. Now, th now believe it or not, now I actually did not see this film in theaters. Uh, I don't think it was playing in any of the theaters near me, but I watched it on New Year's Eve on HBO Max, and I thought it was good, nothing special, but I decided to give it a rewatch. So that's why I bought this Blu-ray, and I liked it a lot more on second viewing. Yeah, a lot of critics called it one of their favorite films of uh, 2023. Uh, no, 2022. Excuse me, sorry. But yeah, it's good with uh, performances by Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson, who I like both of those actors. Here we got the spine back from the writer and director of Three Billards and In Brudges, because this film was directed by Michael McDow. Why don't you just got Creating the Banshees of Arishana and Deleted Scenes. Yep. Here we got the digital copy code, and here's the disc. It's a standard blue disc. But yeah, I definitely check out if, if you're if you're into these kinds of movies, then yeah, I definitely recommend checking out the Banshees of Era Sharon. All right, now this next one, this I got at the Best Buy, uh, Best Buy uh, in Warwick Island on um, December twenty sixth, the same day as I was shopping when I bought the Piss and, uh, Puss and Boots Blu-ray. This is the Blu-ray of Ticket to Paradise. Yeah, now this was a funny comedy with um, George Clooney and Julia Roberts. This wasn't like a great or hilarious comedy, but it was it was pretty funny. It was like it's something worth watching if you're looking to kill some time. Um, I saw it in theaters uh, at the Showcase Cinemas Movie Theater in Warwick Island. This was the Sunday right after it came out, which was back on October 24th, if I'm not mistaken. No, no, Octo October 23rd, excuse me. Sorry about that. October 23rd. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Um, and also it stars Caitlin Deaver in it. And I, I, I gotta point out this one thing that always bothered me. This this very huge factual error. In the movie, Caitlin Deaver's character, like, apparently says they go, they, she went to college to become a lawyer and then she goes on her trip to Bali and they say when she comes back she's going to start a new job as a lawyer at a law firm. <laughs> I, it seems like the peop, these peop, the the people who wrote this movie don't do any research or anything. I know it's because it's like... It, it, that's not how it works to become a lawyer. If you want to go to... if you In order to become a lawyer, you have to go through four years of law school, get a law degree and a law license. And that... Before you can get hired at a law firm. <laughs> I just wanted to point it out because that's really weird how... What they... Why they did, why they said that. Anyway, here we got the spine, back, and there's mm, there's no critic review on the back. We just got never foreseen bonus content such as behind the scenes, footage capturing the return, the dynamic duo to screen, a lot look into production in paradise and more. Oh yeah. Yeah, this was a this was a pretty funny movie. Here we got the digital copy code. Uh, the DVD is a red disc while since this is a universal Blu-ray, it's a see-through disc. Is it just me or has Universal really been on a roll these last three years? I'm, they've been releasing a lot of movies li li um, lately. I don't know if it's just me, but ever since the like about sixty percent of the movies I've seen since the pandemic have been released by Universal. Is it just me who knows that they've been releasing a lot of films lately? But yeah, take, did they always release that that much before prior to the pandemic? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, yeah, Ticket to Paradise, pretty funny movie. All right. Now, this one I got yesterday at Best Buy, and this Blu-ray came out yesterday. This is, yep, The Menu. Oh, yeah. Now, I really enjoyed this film a lot more than I thought it was going to. I saw this in theaters at the new Apple Cinemas movie theater next to the Warwick Mall um, back on uh, November 29th, actually. It was uh, I know this this film came out in theaters on November 18th, but I I didn't see it that night because I was going the night it came out, I was going to see another film, which I'll talk about later. Uh... And it didn't even look that interesting, but as, you know, the next week and a half went by, I heard all these good things about it, so I decided, since it was Bargain Tuesday, because Apple Cinema, 
uh, since like movie theaters do those bargain Tuesdays at the Apple Cinemas, actually, believe it or not, on Tuesdays, movie tickets are only four seventy five. So that night, I just decided to go see it, and I really enjoyed this film. The head chef is played by Ralph Fiennes, who we know played Voldemort in the Harry Potter film. So literally, whenever he taught, gave speeches, all I heard was Voldemort. <laughs> yeah, and also has uh, a uh, the main performance played by Anya Taylor Joy. And is it just me, or is Anya Taylor Joy a really underrated actress? I, I don't know if I don't know if that's just me or not, but like. I don't think like Anya Taylor Joy obviously is a big name actor. I'm most sure most of you people go there know who Anya Taylor Joy is, but I don't think she gets enough credit for how great of an actor she actually is. Am I the only one, I the only one who thinks that? Hmm. Another thing is that when you watch film, do not watch this film on an empty stomach. Either eat something before you watch it, or be eating something while you while you watch the film because this film will make you hungry. The ending of this film made me crave a cheeseburger. No joke. Actually, when I after I left the movie theater, I went to Burger King because the ending of this film made me crave a cheeseburger. <laughs> I know that's weird. Anyway, here we got the spine, back, painstakingly prepared, brilliantly executed. Oh yeah, yeah. This is a fantastic film. Open kitchen. Bones each got open kitchen. A look inside the menu. First course, second course, dessert, and deleted scenes. Yeah. I, def I definitely recommend checking out this film. I definitely recommend checking out this film if you haven't seen it yet. Here we got the digital copy code and blue disc. But yeah, I definitely recommend checking out the me the menu. Great, great, great film. All right, now this I got at Best Buy and Workaround last um, Tuesday, uh, uh, last week. This is the Blu-ray of She Said. The story behind the headlines, because this is based on the true story of New York Times reporters Joey, Jody Cantor and Megan Twoney, who were doing an investigation and published an article about film producer Harvey Weinstein and how he sexually harassed multiple women, and this led to the whole Me Too movement. <laughs> I saw this on theaters. This was the film that also came, this film came out in theaters uh, the same day as The Menu did, and I saw this instead of The Menu. This this was a really good film, and really, I understand why it didn't do so well at the box office, because uh, one, it, it opened one week after Black Panther Wakanda Forever, and also because... I don't think a lot of people wanted to see a movie that, like, you know, was, you know, about, like, you know, destroying Hollywood, technically, and also, uh, you know, this this movie came out around the same time Harvey Weinstein was having an additional trial because of facing additional charges or something. Yeah. But, yeah, I definitely recommend checking out this film. Um, um, this and The Menu. If you didn't see The Menu in theaters, either buy this film on Blu-ray or watch it on HBO Max. For this film, watch it, buy it on Blu-ray or watch it on Peacock because the film is available to watch on Peacock. Here we got The Spine. Back. Powerful performances today by Kate Erblin at IndieWire. Most of you got Breaking the Story. Go behind the scenes with real-life journalists Megan Twoney and Jody Cantor as they recount what took to break this story. Sorry. Yep. Digital copy code. And this is also a universal Blu-ray, so it's a see-through disc. Here's the... Here's the regular... Uh, here's the Blu-ray disc. And uh, here's the DVD. Excuse me, sorry. I lost my train of thought there for a sec. But yeah, she said, great, great, great film. Definitely, right, definitely, definitely, definitely recommend it. All right. Now the last one, this is the big one. This I got at Best Buy back on January 3rd because it came out that day. And this is the big one y'all knew was coming. Yep. Black Adam. Yep. This is the Best Buy exclusive steelbook. I know Eric MacArthur, if you're watching, this is for you because like, you know, I know you recently bought the rigor Blu-ray of this. I was really, I was really surprised by how much I enjoyed this film. I know, though, it's kind of pointless now because this is now DC's going downhill. Because I'm gonna give a spoiler: the the mid credit scene of this movie features the return of Henry Cavill as Superman, and then after that, they announced that Henry Cavill was back as Superman, and things were really happy. And then they announced James Gunn and Peter Safran were made the the new uh, co presidents of DC, and then James Gunn fired Henry Cavill because he claimed like they want to do a younger Superman film. Like, okay, name one person who actually wants to see that. I'm sorry. What after what happened with Justice League? You really they should have known that putting a, an MCU filmmaker in, star, in charge of something DC related was a recipe for disaster. Always leads to a recipe for disaster. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, I really enjoyed Black Adam. And Dwayne Johnson really surprised me. I've noticed most of his recent films is basically he's not even Dwayne Johnson. I love Dwayne Johnson. Obviously, I mean, come on, who doesn't love Dwayne Johnson? But I noticed a lot of his films really feel like, his recent films really felt like he was just playing himself or a fictional version of himself. This movie felt like he was actually acting as a character, which I'm really glad about. Black Adam is a well known character. He was originally supposed to appear in the first Shazam. He was going to be, I think, he was actually going to be the main villain of that movie. But then eventually they scrapped it and decided to give the character his own movie. Anyway, as you can see here, we got the spine, back, no critic review. 
Why don't you just got the history of Black Adam, who is the Justice Society, from soul to screen, Black Adam, a new type of action, costumes make the hero, and more. Yep. Yeah, I definitely recommend checking out Black Adam. It's actually a pretty good film. But yeah, I think Dwayne Johnson should have been made in charge of DC, because it's like, I feel bad for him, because we're not going to see more of Black Adam, really, because of the new plan that James Gunn has in place for DC. And also, with Henry Cavill, apparently Dwayne Johnson revealed him and his team spent six years fighting Warner Brothers to bring Henry Cavill back as Superman. Yeah, I just feel bad for those guys for getting screwed over. But anyway, here, get the digital copy code, and... Here's the 4K Blu-ray, and then here's the regular Blu-ray. Yep. Yeah. I know critics were really not too impressed on this film, but audiences liked it, really loved it. I did too. I saw this in theaters uh, opening night at the uh, Apple Cinemas movie, the new Apple Cinemas movie theater, uh, back on uh, October 22nd. But yeah, I definitely recommend checking out Black Adam if you haven't. All right. That is my uh, Blu-ray uh, update for today, January 18th, 2023. Stay tuned for my next video in a couple days, which will be this pre-recorded commentary track that me, Savion, and Shelby will um, recorded. And also, after that, I'll be releasing some bloopers and behind the scenes about the making of Max Revenge. So I really hope you guys will stick around. Thanks again for having Max Revenge get all those views and everything. And I really hope you enjoyed this Blu-ray update.